back to the LCP Digital Learning Channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick tip using Apple Classroom. Now, we all know how awesome Apple Classroom is where you can log students out, you can navigate them to websites, you can navigate them to an app, you can lock their screen if you need to give some instructions. But I saw a teacher use this in her classroom to help students have a voice. And this goes really good with a lot of the lead forward strategies like Four Corners. So let me show you what I'm talking about and then you can have some ideas yourself. So right now I'm in Apple Classroom and I've got my two students, iPads right here. So let me go ahead and log these students in. So as you can see right now, I know what app they're in is Keynote, but I'm actually going to do screens, okay? I want to be able to just have a little bitty small view of what the kids are working on on their iPad. So this activity that I would do with kids is maybe I'm talking about shapes. So I would give them an opportunity and I said, okay, I want you to use Keynote and on one side of the slide, I want you to show me examples of squares. On the other side of the slide, I want, to give you, I want you to give me examples of non-squares, okay? So examples and non-examples of a shape. Then I'm gonna give them maybe just one minute to just quickly bring in shapes using Keynote, using pictures from the internet, or even using the camera on their iPad to take pictures around the room. This is a great opportunity for kids to use their voice in a way that they think is creative. Okay, once all the kids have had their opportunity to build, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, let's talk about this. Who wants to share? And so maybe I'll be student one here, maybe this is gonna be John. Okay, okay, John, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch this screen, and then right here you see view screen. Okay, I don't have to airplay, I don't have to have that code, all I'm gonna do is view screen. This is going to take a quick snapshot of what the kid's iPad looks like. Now, this is not a video, so none of the animations are going to show. This is purely just show me what you've done. So now, quickly, I pull this up. I say, okay, Johnny, explain why these are squares and these are non-squares. And this gives that kid an opportunity to justify their answer. And in the class, I can say, okay, does anybody want to challenge that? Does anybody have something they want to say that challenges one of his choices? So maybe we can have the conversation of maybe, hey, this one has a square at the bottom of it. Or I'm not sure a dice is a square because that's a 3D object instead of a 2D object. Okay, then I can really just press done. Okay, so now I want to show the next kid. So I say, okay, Sarah, you want to share? I'm going to touch her screen and come down here, view screen. And just like that, I'm able to see what's on Sarah's screen. So I can say, okay, Sarah, explain what you've done. And Sarah can talk about the reasons that these are squares and these are non-squares or non-examples of squares. Okay, and then I can give the opportunity for the class to talk about it. Maybe someone wants to challenge one of her choices, just like that. Or another good example is maybe there's a math problem. Okay, so quickly, I can give just a real fast math problem. I can let the kids work for maybe just a minute, and then I can say, okay, Johnny, view his screen. Why don't you tell me how you solved that problem? And Johnny can say, well, I was dividing by three, and so I knew that there were three, 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 and three. So there were four groups of three that went into 12. Then we can talk about how he solved that problem. Awesome. Gonna press done at the top right corner. Then I'm gonna jump over here to Sarah's iPad, touch it, view screen, and immediately Sarah's iPad's gonna come up. Now she has the opportunity to have the voice in the classroom. She can talk about how she said 12 divided by three is four because I counted by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, okay? This could be used for anything that you want. Okay, the teacher I saw in the classroom, what she did is she allowed the kids to read for five minutes and the kids used their iPad and they just pulled over some icons within Keynote to show me some connections to their learning really quickly can be done and share those screens. Okay, maybe I'm doing a four corners activity where I say, okay, this corner is this answer, this corner is this answer, this corner is this answer, this corner is this answer. Take your iPad, choose a corner, and justify your answer. And then quickly, I can choose the iPad of the kid that wants to share, touch, view screen, and just like that, that kid now has the voice in the classroom on the television, and we can have that conversation. So this is not a fancy technology. This is not something going out of the box. This is a piece of technology that's gonna speed up the classroom, and it's gonna allow those kids to really share those voices back and forth quickly and, efficient, and efficiently in your classroom. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.